everyone else who are here, fellow travelers, keepers of the faith, <coughs> holders of the trust, uh, I'm very happy to be with you today and uh, to just give a little uh, something with regard to the book. I think it was mentioned by Paul that he started way back in 2012. I checked with Steve. The conference in Australia took place in October 2012. And you know that we signed the framework agreement on the Bank Samoro on October 2012. When the con but prior to that, there was this conference which we could not attend. Abu and I could not attend that conference because we were into the thick of uh, the negotiations, but we still had to present a paper which we, um, which we presented through a video, video recording at the Australian Embassy. Some she did facilitated that, and it was a video recording that was shown during the uh, conference at ANU, and there was even a Skype conference to raise some of the questions, and although I don't think that the, the technical part of that Skype was very good, but just imagine. City, oh, okay. Um, that's interesting. They have better <laughs> communication telecom there. So that's how it started. We actually had a paper way back in 2012, which we uh, which we submitted, of course, to Paul, uh, thanks to his uh, proddings. Um, and uh, then, as it turned out, the book did not come out <laughs> as soon as the conference, and it took four more years during which time we had to do a lot of regular updating until finally uh, 2016. I remember uh, the first week of July, the, end, uh, the final touches on the book were still being done and uh, Paul was still asking me whether it's okay to say North Cotabato instead of Cotabato uh, <laughs> because of the reference or no confusion. So all these little details, I know it takes a lot of effort to produce the book and on our end, it meant also um, working on the text as we were actually moving along the, uh, the negotiations. Um, so uh, that does have its benefit. Uh, on the one hand, there are many details uh, that you will find, for example, with the details that we wrote in 2012, which would not probably remember now if we were writing in 2016. So that moment was actually captured in, in uh, in uh, the text, for instance, that, uh, that I, I started, it, started out with um, and then continued to add with regard to how some of the issues were eventually set settled, whether it's a question of um, the, um, the powers, power sharing, uh, the matter of ancestral domain, uh, the question of um, Bangsamore unity, and, and so on. So all of these things were built along the text and and uh, actually basically presented uh, event eventually as, as to how it ended up in the final, um, the final text that were, that were actually signed. So to that extent, uh, it did have an advantage that we started out four years later, uh, four years earlier and ended up closing the book uh, in, um, just in time for the, the next administration. Of course, on my end, I had to review everything I wrote. Uh, let's not forget that there are still Supreme Court cases against the against the BBL slash CAP, and that's why we did have I did have to you know why I wanted to lay down everything in full honesty from my perspective. I did have to be a little careful as well, considering that there are these cases still pending, and we don't know exactly how the Supreme Court will be reacting to this. Now, the title of the book, Long Journey to Peace, I think journey has been a very um, apt metaphor used many times. We did come up with a book uh, of collection of speeches during the, uh, the exploratory talks, starting with the first one under the Aquino administration up to the end and several statements, and we called that book Get Into Peace, which reflects at the same time that kind of uh, a movement a movement from one place getting to uh, another destination, which of course would is envisioned to be one that would uh, create, um, would be much better from where we have started, and um, also one that would um, lead, open up new paths and bring about that kind of a societal transformation, which is really what we plan, what we want to do in this whole process as well. So indeed, um, the journey is long and difficult, and uh, it has not been easy. A lot of the challenges that you would find discussed in the book 
are the, the very same challenges that, uh, that continue to be faced by this incoming uh, administration as it uh, puts its own mark on the whole process, uh, where there's a question of um, local governments within the Bangsamoro, lo uh, the Bangsamoro as a region in relation to the national government, the question of, as I mentioned earlier, uh, put uh, an inclusive process that would uh, bring everybody on board, considering the whole complexity of uh, the situation. So these are still really the same challenges that that, uh, that um, both the MILF, the government, and the other stakeholders would continue, continue to face. So uh, let me end here, because I'm the past, and the next ones will be the present and the future, and that's why I guess I made me speak first, although I was trying to negotiate to speak last <laughs> earlier. But let me say that, um, uh, yes, the journey is very difficult. Um, Maybe uh, just a little side note, uh, when the Colombian president was here for the APEC summit uh, last <coughs> November 2015, uh, he purposely met with us so that he could learn from our experience and see how, how Colombia would be guided as well. And, and uh, he asked me, he said, what, can you tell me what was the most difficult thing about the peace negotiations? And, uh, Without thinking, I said everything. Everything was very difficult about the negotiations, which means that this journey is not is something that is not for the faint-hearted. It's not some. It's not uh, a process for those who do not have that kind of uh, real determination to see it through. And indeed, I believe that just in this room, we have that kind of commitment and determination, and that's really something that will. Um, that will propel this process forward in the next years to come. So congratulations to Paul for all the hard work of bringing us together, to the rest, uh, Steve and other, other sponsors. Um, although Paul did manage to always come in when I'm on vacation, actually. <laughs> on the few times that I'm on vacation, he will send this draft, this draft for review or something. But I forgive you because <laughs> Because now we have the book, and it's something you know. It's the first book that, that is that is now out about the uh, peace process on the Bangsamoro under the Aquino administration, and I think that's really something. Thank you very much.